Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke, okay, good morning everyone. Morning sir. Morning sir. Morning sir. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Okay, I think uh, it's great to see you this morning, and I think it's very, very clear morning. You know, the sky is clear. So I think uh, the thing is with you. You're happy, you're happy, and have you had your breakfast this morning? Have you had your breakfast? Yes or no? Not yet, no, sir. Yes, sir. No. Yes, they're not, yet, not yet home, and they're not yet. Okay, you know, breakfast is very important okay, for our one day's activities in life. So, yeah, it's important to me at least. I don't know for you whether it is important, or not. but in my experience, breakfast is useful, very useful. Well, um. This morning, um, as seen on the screen, okay. uh, can you hear me clearly well? Any of uh, if, uh, if you have a problem in accessing this meeting, still have another chance to follow my lecture by watching the video on my YouTube channel later, okay? Okay, um, uh, from Cyber, I downloaded 50 of 50 files, um, but um, some students wrote two topics, or only one topic, or more than one topic, but that's okay. Um, from 53 students, 50 students submitted task number one. That's good. And this is the problem of 53 students. So I'm thinking about, well, how to divide our meetings into presentation time. I think um, just four to five students in every meeting will present the proposal. Remember, this is a proposal seminar. So it is different from the seminar we had last year. Maybe there are some repeaters here. So the difference is, the difference is the paper you present in this seminar is limited to three sections, three parts of your report. So it is a proposal. So proposal is actually the three beginning parts of a report or thesis. A complete report consists of five or six parts or chapters. So the first chapter is introduction. The second chapter is theoretical review or literature review. And then the chapter three is research methodology. Chapter four is findings and discussions, analysis. And chapter five is conclusions. And if necessary, suggestions. And the last part of your report is references or bibliography. Well, what we are going to discuss in this seminar class is your proposal. Okay, your proposal. Remember, in a proposal, there has not been results. Okay, there has not been result or analysis. Because proposal is a plan, right? A proposal is a plan. Something that you are going to do in maybe next semester. And your paper consists only of introduction, theoretical review or literature review and research methodology. 
and of course references okay once again introduction okay and then literature review or theoretical review methodology research methodology and references that's it so it's not necessary for you to or to, to add things like results analysis or findings and discussions or, or conclusions also that they are not necessary yet now will be necessary later in your this is examination but not now now what you need to prepare on the three sections okay one introduction second theoretical review or literature review third research methodology or methodology i'm going to explain this later okay today i'm going to explain in brief about how to decide how to choose a topic of a research this is very important because from your topics i still get an impression that you have no idea about how to decide a topic for your research okay well there are two rules in deciding a topic of research general rules or general considerations and specific rules or specific considerations okay let's talk about general considerations first number one you have to keep in mind before you decide your topic is degree of interest meaning that you must be interested in the topic that's rule number one if you are not interested in the topic then forget it okay forget it say for example uh, you're interested in realizing moral values and you're interested in moral values and the proof of the interest is you have knowledge background knowledge about that topic of analysis for example moral values you already learn about moral values so interest must be supported with evidence do not say i'm interested in this thing sir but um, i have no idea about this thing that's not interest if you are interested in something you must have a uh, background knowledge you must have collected information about that topic okay and the collection of the information would build your background knowledge you will try to, um, to learn what moral value is okay try to get knowledge about moral value if you say that moral value is your interest okay so ask yourself ask yourself before you decide your topic whether you have interest in the topic or not okay do not force yourself to write or to research to do research about something that you are not interested in okay do not force yourself to do research because your friends choose the topic or because you saw examples in the internet that the topic is very popular among english language department students for example that's not the way the consideration the the factor that should be considered in deciding topic okay so number one rule is your own personal interest it is not about your friend's interest it is not about 
your brother's interest. It is not your sister's interest. It is your own interest. Are you interested in the topic? Yes. What is the proof? What is the evidence that you are interested in the topic? The evidence is, I have already learned about this. I have a number of references in my library. I have tried to understand this for, for about two or three weeks before. Okay? So everything has to be proven. If you say that you are interested in a particular topic, then prove it. Show that you already have a background knowledge. Okay? That's rule number one. Very general rule. It applies for any research activity, not only in this particular research. I mean, in research and literature. It applies in almost all fields of research. If you are not interested, even though the money is big, for example, but you, are, you have no interest in the topic, then forget it. Forget the money. Maybe someone would hire you. Okay, I'm going to hire you as a contract of, say, for example, uh, 10 million rupees if you do this research for me. But you have no interest in the topic then forget it. Why? Because you are interested in the money, but you're not, you're not interested in the topic. That's different. Okay? You are interested in the money. The money is fake. Okay? But the topic is not your interest. How can you learn something very quickly in a very short time? Because research is a step, a procedure to gain truth. That's the most important thing, to gain, to get truth. To get what is the truth behind the phenomenon? What is the real situation, the real, the true situations behind this topic? How can someone get the truth of something if he or she has no interest in the object. Okay. So interest can be developed. Okay. Interest can be developed. That's true. That's true. But, you know, it is true for people who have open minds. It's true for people who are ready to accept criticism from other people. Okay? But in the step of learning, I think it's very, very difficult. Okay? It's true that you can develop your interest if you have experiences. Okay? If you have experiences, you are very rich in information, you are very resourceful persons, okay, that's true, that you can develop interest in say, one or a couple of days. But if your background knowledge is very limited, it's very narrow, let's say very shallow too, well, I'm sorry to say that, okay, you cannot develop your interest in a very limited period of time. You must spend more time, more weeks, more months to learn about that particular topic. And you would be able to say, I have an interest in this. I am interested in this. Okay? So interest is different from likeness or preference. Because interest is something that is developed in yourself from time to time by compiling by accumulating knowledge. The more you know about something, the better, and the higher is your interest. Okay, that's number one, degree of interest. So for example, um, yeah, you have two or three choices of topics, and just 
uh, look at those topics and try to scale, try to judge, to evaluate which topic is more interesting to you. Okay, which topic among the three topics uh, is more interesting to you? And you can score them. For example, topic number one, the score of interest is six. Topic number two, the score of interest is seven. Topic number three, the score is five. And of course, the higher the score is your choice. Okay, that's number one consideration. Let's go to number two, level of difficulty. Everyone knows which is difficult, which is easy for him or her to do. Okay, difficulty means the sooner you get ideas about something, okay, that's easy. But the harder for you to understand something that uh, problems, that's difficulty. Okay. Oh, I got no idea about this. I got no idea about moral values. I got no idea about educational values. So, educational values, moral values are difficult for you because you have no idea. Okay, but if you have ideas, you have knowledge, you have um, kind of experience, then that will help you, and that will be easier for you to do, and the level of difficulty is lower. So the more something is strange to you, then the more difficult you are going to do the kind of research. Say, for example, you have, uh, every day you are accustomed to English language learning, okay? Because you are students of English, English language department. You're familiar with uh, everything about English language teaching and learning. And suddenly you want to make a research in, say, for example, um, practical technology. Yeah, practical technology for farmers in your village. You have no background knowledge, but right? you have no experience in creating or innovating some technological instruments for the farmers to, say for example, to harvest or to, to plant their, um, their crops. And you try to do so, and then, well, it's a new thing to you. It's strange to you. It's not familiar to you. Then the level of difficulty is higher. Okay, the level of difficulty is higher for you to learn, to try to make uh, research about technical um, applied technology for funds in your fields. But if it is about English language teaching or learning, then the level of difficulty is low because Every day, almost every day, you read about English language teaching or learning. Okay, about how to teach English, how to learn English, how to improve your speaking skills and writing skills, and so on. So, everything, almost everything, is familiar with you. And in this case, the level of difficulty is low. Okay. So something is difficult if you would need more time, more efforts to apply, to experience, like to make experience with the thing in the research. Okay, number three, the general consideration is availability of availability of time, availability of support, and facility. That's it's very important. If time is abundant, let's say you have one full year, okay, and you have no other activities except doing that research, then 
ओके ये अवेलेबल था एंड सपोर्ट ओके सपोर्ट कैन बी फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम योर पेरेंट्स ओके फ्रॉम स्कूल इफ यू वांट टू डू रिसर्च एट द स्कूल फ्रॉम anyone who is um, involved in your research what can be in terms of money or fund you have you got enough fund or money to do the research say for example um, you are going to collect data from the internet uh, every day in a week do you have enough data for accessing the internet today and is money available for you to buy that uh, internet data package okay so support can be uh, from various sources okay and facility of course um in our research you need instruments for example okay um my laptop is is old enough is um, out of date and i need new laptop for this research and if the new laptop is available then that's a very big and serious problem for you. because you cannot process the data you cannot collect the data you cannot analyze the data you are trying to to have for your research so facility can be laptop can be smartphone can be anything that would facilitate your research procedure okay so these are the three general considerations in deciding the topic of research now let's go to the specific consideration okay. there are three specific considerations in deciding the topic of research first you must decide the approach or point of view and see yes, whether in research there are three points of view three approaches okay according to question first quantitative approach second qualitative approach and third mixed method approach which approach are you going to use in your research qualitative quantitative or mixed method to be able to answer this question you need to read research methodology books okay research methodology books if for example um as well it's very very popular as well as 2014 edition or 2018 edition okay. you can read either the 2014 or 2018 edition almost similar but there are there are differences but in general almost similar they are almost similar okay um so decide what approach you are going to apply in your research quantitative qualitative or mixed method mixed method means you apply at the same time simultaneously quantitative and qualitative approach once you decide the approach for example okay sir i am going to do my research by using a quantitative approach then you must have understood in a quantitative approach the data should be in the forms of number okay quantity means number how can we do research in literature by using number yeah it's just, it can be done it's okay you can you can do this in literature 
we should you use a quantity before proof. It, it, it can be done. And some, some students did this kind of research in literature. Okay, for example, you are trying to identify it, to find out who is the main character of the story. And your approach is quantity. Then the question, the research problem, one of the research problems is who is the most dominant character in the story? Who is the most dominant character in the story? This problem, this question, the most dominant is a quantitative question. It is not a qualitative question. The answer to this question needs explanation or description in numerical expression. For example, percent. Okay, percent. So, let's say, for example, in the story there are ten characters. Okay, and then you try to find out who the most dominant character is among the ten characters. And your question is, who is the most dominant? You cannot say the most dominant character is A or B or C or D. So what is the proof? What is the evidence? The evidence is this character is very strong. No, that's not the answer to the question, what is, who is the most dominant character? Someone who is strong is not always dominant. Why? Because life is not always decided by strength. Power, no. Life is very complicated. It's not just the simple strength, the power is everything in life. No. Okay? So, to, to prove that this is the most dominant character by saying, because he is powerful, okay, he is powerful, is not relevant. So what is the relevant analysis? You try to collect data by using numbers. For example, of course, there should be theoretical assumption. And this is one of the, the use of, uh, one of the uses of theories or concepts in your literature. If you to help you Organizing, organize your instrument of collecting data. So your theory should be applied in collecting data. Then you must find out theory of character. What is main character? What 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 is um, helping character. What are the criteria of main character? And what are the criteria of uh, an auxiliary character or helping character? From that criteria then you say for example, criteria number one from uh, a certain theory, criteria number one for main character or dominant character is um, he or she appears the most frequently, okay? The most frequently shown character. So, we are talking about frequent, frequency, frequent, frequency. So we, we count the number of frequencies that this character appears in the story. So, that's it. How numbers can be used in literary research. How many times character A appears in the story? How many times character B? How many times character C? How many times and so on and so forth. Okay? So you can count at the end that oh character A appears 150 times in the story. In the movie, for example. Or in the 150 pages 
of the novel. Okay, a movie, of course, appearances, 150 appearances in different um, scenes. But in books, um, you can say in pages, character B appears 50 times on the screen in the movie. Or character B appears 50, on 50 pages of the novel. So from these two comparison, character A, 150, character B, 50, then you would be able to make a kind of comparison and say character A is more dominant than character B. The proof is character A appears 150 times, character B appears only 50 times. That's an example of uh, one of the approach in uh, literary research. Well, if you are not ready with that, it's, it's too difficult, it's too costly, it's too difficult to count the number of uh, the frequency of appearances of someone's appearances in the movie or the pages that character is mentioned in the novel. Forget it, forget that you are going to do a quantitative basis on literature. Because Again, if you use a quantitative approach, then the challenge is you must provide numerical data. Data in the forms of numbers, okay? Number two, qualitative approach. The characteristics of a qualitative approach is the data are in the forms of words, phrases, clauses, sentences, texts, or sounds, or pictures, or scenes, okay? which are not numbers. Okay, this is this very simple um, differentiation. So the data you try to collect should be in the forms of words, phrases, clauses, sentences, paragraphs, or discourses or texts. This qualitative point of view, qualitative approach. So you're not dealing with numbers percent or ranks. So you deal with description, descriptive way of presenting your data. The data and the forms of words and the presentation of data is qualitative by using description. For example, the main character of the story is A or B. Yeah, he is the main character because in the plot, in the plot of the story, he always appears in the whole parts of the story, the whole parts of the story. This is a very specific expression of a qualitative approach. The whole part of the story, almost the whole, almost all the pages, almost all the pages, almost all the duration of the movie. So we are, not, we are not talking about the specific number of pages or specific time, minutes or hour of duration, but we only say about most, almost all, okay? It's very, very qualitative expression of um, data. Most of, okay? Most of some of, or we use qualification expressions like good or bad. Yeah, this is not good character. This is a 
very complicated but the tendency is yeah it's kind of that guy if for example he is not responsible he is not uh, very disciplined he like his promises all the time that's the way how to like express your data in qualitatively or quantitative and the mix i mean i thought this combination between numbers and descriptions maybe you start with numbers and then follow it with description or you start with description and then you provide evidence in numbers that's consideration number one well if you have a question do not hesitate to raise your hand okay click that and okay raise your hand and i'm going to give you time okay number two aspect of analysis that's it's very very specific to moral values psychological values um, sociological values um, historical values whatever all are aspects of analysis so what aspect of analysis you trying to do in your research okay i'm going to give you examples later so if you're interested in oh uh, i read books on moral morality okay then from your background knowledge it's good for you to do a research about moral values that's the aspect of analysis okay and number three theories or concepts to be applied it's, it's very important in your in your topic there should be a hint or hints showing what theories you are going to use say for example a moral value analysis of moral value of this story or of this movie then the hint for theories are there moral values so try to find books or references about moral values okay um let me show you an example here Okay, this is um, Norvidaya. Okay, Norvidaya wrote two topics. Okay, two topics: analysis, Aladdin character of Aladdin as the main character in Aladdin movie. Norul, are you here? Yes, me. Yes, sir. Okay. Why? Well, why did you write two topics? Why not just one? Gimana, sir? Why did you write two topics? Why not only one topic? Uh, because uh, you choose one of the topic, sir. Okay. But, you know, in deciding a topic, uh, what I mean by this task is for you to decide only one topic, not two. Decision maker is you, not me, right? So you have to decide for yourself. Of course, after following my explanations about general and specific considerations. Okay. Can you now decide which topic you are going to write or to, to research after listening to my explanation this morning? Are you still confused? Uh, no, sir. Uh... I write two topic because uh um you you just one topic uh is a uh, better for me, sir. You choose yourself, right? Have you I have explained the considerations. Okay. 
for deciding the topic. General consideration, specific consideration. Okay. After um, understanding all the considerations and what which topic you are going to decide within this group, the first and the second. No, no. Tadi kan sudah mendengarkan penjelasan saya ya. Jadi kalau mau melihat judul itu kan ada pertimbangan-pertimbangannya. Pertimbangan umum dan pertimbangan khusus. Nah sekarang kamu masih punya dua kan? Itu harusnya kan cuma satu. Kamu mungkin apa, meneliti dua judul ini untuk spesi ya. Iya, iya. Satu aja. Setelah tadi saya jelaskan kira-kira sekarang ini bisa nggak memutuskan mana yang mau di Teruskan. I choose yeah. yang Aladin saja. Aladin. Yes. Okay. Aladin. Itu dengan pertemuan tadi ya. Jadi uh, misalnya um, level of interest. Yeah. Yes, pertemuan kan level of interest. Which one is more interesting to you? Aladin or karate kid? Bukan uh, karate itu judul filmnya karate kid. Yes. Terbalik bos. <laughs> nah, <coughs> karate kid ya. Cepat. Mana yang which first the movie ya first the movie. Remember if you type topic or title of a movie you must type it in Item. Dan ini harus dimulai dengan huruf capital, ya. huruf capital. Itu mulai huruf apa namanya? Yes, sir. Oh, common letter. Mulai dulu. Oh, sorry. This is not the problem. So, Aladdin is name of main character and also title of movie. The title is this, Aladdin. Ya, jadi Aladdin itu kan dua ya, ada nama orang dan ada judul film. Kalau sebagai nama, sebagai nama itu tidak usah miring, ya. But if you use Aladdin as title of movie or title of a book, then it should be typed in italics. Which one the director? Of a S morning or sebagai opening. Aladdin as the main character, itu aja, ya. Itu redundant, you repeat certain words for unnecessary reasons. Analysis of Aladdin as the main character of, bukan in, ya. Director of kan dia main character of Aladdin movie. Ini yang mau dipilih? You want to choose this? Yes, sir. Okay, but um, some lecturers prefer not to use analysis. Jadi ada dosen yang tidak mau menggunakan kata analisis langsung aja gitu tidak perlu pakai analisisnya langsung aja Aladdin the main character of Aladdin sama the main character of Aladdin movie oke okay? jadi tanpa menyebut kata analisis without mentioning analysis here people already know it is an analysis because this is it is topic of research research is analysis oke okay? Is it clear, Nur? So you choose this? Yes, Aladdin, sir. I choose character. Aladdin. Yes. Okay. I choose Aladdin. And this is the topic. Okay, Aladdin. The main character of Aladdin. Well, and forget this, okay? You forget this. In this topic, okay, I told you before that in a topic, there is 
our approach and also theories you want to apply. Now my question is, Nurul, what is the approach you want to apply in doing this business? What approach? Quantitative, qualitative, or mixed method approach? Nurul? Yes, sir. What approach do you want to apply in doing the research? Latin, the main character of Latin movie. Qualitative, quantitative, or mixed method? Mixed method, mixed method, sir. Mixed method. Do you know the meaning of mixed method? Uh, this is a qualitative and quantitative. Okay, why? Why do you need both approaches in doing this business? Yes, sir. Why do you want to apply mixed method in doing this research? Why not say one approach uh, quantitative or qualitative only? Um, maybe the Quantitative, sir. Quantitative or qualitative or mixed Quantitative, sir. Quantitative. So your data is, your data are in the form of what? Your data, you try to collect data in the forms of numbers or words or sentences okay no what data are you going to collect later in your, your uh, research numbers numbers like grades for example students grades or sentences or words or pictures Yep. Maybe sentences, words, sir. Sentences. So if sentences, it is not quantitative. It is qualitative. <laughs> okay. Qualitative. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, that's one thing. Okay, approach. Number two is the theory. What theory you are going to use? You are going I to still want sir. Yes? I still confused. <laughs> You're still confused. No, from this topic, right? From the topic, then you must be able to tell me to tell your consultants the theory you are going to use. Right? You talk about Aladdin, okay? Aladdin movie, okay? So the theory is the theory of main character, okay? So the theory you are going to use is theory of main character because in the topic. There is, there is the main character. It means that in doing the research, you must use, you must provide theories about the main character. Okay? Is that clear, clear Nurul? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Nurul. Um, why I choose Nurul? Because Nurul is the first student to join in this meeting this morning. <laughs> okay, let's go to... Another other topics. The topics and Agnes, are you here, Agnes? Agnes, hello, Agnes. Because if you are not here, I'm not going to discuss. It. I need to ask you a number of questions from the lecture that I. That we sent this just now. Okay, Agnes is not uh, does not respond. Let's go to Aji. Are you here, Aji? Aji. Hello, Aji. Okay, Aji is not here too. Let's go to Ucha. Ucha, where are you, Ucha? Ucha, are you here? No, Ucha is not here. What about Tariq? Are you here, Tariq? Yes, sir. Good. Okay, Tariq. 
It is it is your topic, right? Analysis of the problems faced by the main characters in the Sherlock Holmes movie. Okay. Correct. Yes, sir. Is the title of the movie the Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes is the title of the movie, or? or? Yeah. Because the main one is Sherlock Holmes is a series, a series of names of uh, main character and the stories are in series. So all the books begins with Sherlock Holmes and what Sherlock Holmes and what that's I think uh, to my knowledge. So make sure that the title of the movie is correct, right? Uh, yes. Sorry. Have you watched the movie? No. Yes or no? Have you watched yes, the sir. movie? Yes, I have watched this movie. Okay. Yes, sir. And the title, the title is Sherlock Holmes yes, I... or what? Yes, the title is Sherlock Holmes. That is the name, sir, of the detective. Yeah, I know. Sherlock Holmes is the name of a detective. The title of the movie is, I think, um, can be checked again, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me check Sherlock Holmes. Okay, um, I think Sherlock in the first is 2009 okay. and 2011 and the second is 2011 and I will uh, do the research in the first movie in 2009. The first movie, right? Sherlock Holmes. Because there is a new project, Sherlock Holmes. Three, but it's still going on now. 2010-21, it's still under construction. It's still in the process of production. Sherlock Holmes three, but your choice is Sherlock Holmes 2009 or Sherlock Holmes two. Um, 2011 Sherlock Holmes: A Game of Shadows. Okay. So there is a subtitle after Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, uh, Game of Shadows. But if you choose that Sherlock Holmes two or Sherlock Holmes 2011, but uh, two and two thousand and nine production is Sherlock Holmes. So which one? Sherlock Holmes, the first or the second? I think the first, sir. The first. Okay. So, the, we thought the, right? Sherlock Holmes movie. Because the original title of the movie is Sherlock Holmes, without the. Okay? Can you see the screen? Okay, sir. Well, as I told you before, analysis should be related. Okay. Well, how many main characters are you going to analyze? Because you write here the main characters. It means more than one. How many main characters are you going to analyze? Sorry. One, two, three, four. Uh, I think two, sir. Two, okay. And the two characters are the main characters, Sherlock Holmes and... And I forgot the name 
Okay, I'll get the name. Okay. Okay. Okay, you'll remember later. Well. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yes. So, okay, okay, it's okay. Uh, now let's go to the theory. What theories do you need to write your proposal? Uh, I think I choose qualitative theory, sir. Qualitative, qualitative approach. approach. Okay. And the theory you are going to use, what kind of book you are going to read? Uh, because I will analyze about uh, sentence and pictures. No, I mean, in the topic, you know, you must be clear about main characters, right? The theory of characters. That's what I mean by theories. So you must try to find out and read books or references about characters, especially main characters. Okay. Okay, sir. So, this this is the theory that you must uh, compile. You must um, collect the theory. You must read books about characters or main characters, articles about characters, or research results about main characters and uh, characters in general. So. You would find uh, then the criteria of main characters. According to this guy, the character should be like this, like that, and so on and so forth. Okay, that's number one theory. What about problems? What do you mean by problems here? The problems raised by what? What? What, the pro what do you mean by problems here? General problems? So all the problems or a specific problem. All right. Uh, I think specific problems, sir. And what specific? Psychological, social, religious, or what? Because if you just type in the problems, then you are going to address, you are going to talk about all the problems that the main characters have. And that would take you maybe one to two years, okay? And you need about <laughs> one, 500 to 1,000 pages reports. Are you going to do that? Because, you know, problems that someone has would consist of personal problems, social problems, and, okay? You have family problems, you have economic <laughs> problems, you have educational problems. You know, life is full of problems. <laughs> I think yes, all the problems or only a particular problem. Specific problem. Try to decide which problem you are going to analyze from the main character. Psychological, um, social, personal, okay? Religious, whatever okay my suggestion okay sir what's the movie again okay what's the movie again and try to decide what problem you are going to analyze okay personal problem psychological problem social problem or maybe formal problem or because if uh, the, uh, the theme of the movie is about crime then you must deal with judicial problem problems that the main character is still within the, um, the court, right? Okay? Okay, sir. Right. Okay, sir. So you need to be more specific here, right? The problem should be more specific. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. What about Agnes? Are you here already, Agnes? No? Or do you want someone who wants the topic to be discussed here? Anyone? Or is everything clear with those two examples? 
Ronnie? Yes, Mine, sir. Okay, okay Ronnie. Let me see. Ronnie Susan. Okay. okay. Wait a second. Okay, this is your topic, Ronnie, right? Yes. Uh, the title of the movie is Greyhound, right? Yes, sir. So be in italics. Okay, this is the, how I correct your mistake by changing the color of the hounds into blue color, right? This is my correction. Okay, analysis should be it, it, okay. Ernest Cross is the name of character, right? Yes, the main character. The main character should be with a poster of yes, right? Because characterization belongs to Cross. That's why there should be a poster of yes here. Okay. Um, Gary Goodsman, who is this guy, Gary? Gary Goodsman is the producer, sir. Producer or director? Producer. No, you must put here the name of the director, not the producer. That's uh, the convention in writing a title of movie, because the movie is supposed to be created, not produced created by the director, not by the producer. Producer deals with a special financial matters and facility for production, but not the creation. But the authorship, the creation is Goodsman. I'm sorry, the director, not the producer. Okay, Ronnie? Right, sir. Okay, let me find. Who is the director, Craig Hunt? It's the 2020 movie, right? Running? Yes, sir. Uh, Snyder, Aaron Snyder. That's the Uh, the director is Aaron Snyder, not this one. So it should be here, Snyder's should be before, right? Mayhem. This is how to write the topic of uh, title of movie. Okay? So Mind is Graham. So people would understand that the movie was directed was was directed by Snyder. Okay, that's how to write the uh, in English way, right? not by Snyder. That's an Indonesian way of writing um, a phrase. But Snyder's Graham movie. Okay, but 
it's also necessary to put um, yes if for example there are uh, portions or different portions of movie because Stockholm's was produced in 2009 and then this later it was produced again so there, there, there were the films 29 uh, 2009 and the films 2011 but the hunt is the only movie and the director is Snyder this is how to write the correct title of the movie Snyder's Greyhound because there might be another Greyhound movie pro uh, directed by another director okay Ronnie uh, my question is your analysis would be focused on characterization so you must read theories about characterization Okay, Rami. All right, sir. Characterization is your focus of analysis. So you must have strong and complete references on characterization. Okay, this is your topic of your seminar and your spreadsheet. Okay, Ronnie? Yes, sir. Okay, Ronnie. Well, I think um, time is so far. If um, you are still confused about how to, how to decide your topic, then um, you could was the video of this lecture later on YouTube channel or if you still have difficulties also then you may ask questions through WhatsApp messages to me. Okay. Okay, I think um, that's all for this morning.